guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i don't know why i'm doing this welcome back to my channel if you guys are new my name is ashley i'm the owner of shelly's daughter beauty i've officially been in business for two years my two-year anniversary just passed um a few days ago so and my dogs are barking hello hi for those of you guys who are new i have dogs and they bark when i'm trying to film but yeah today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the things that i would consider some small online business shipping essentials Ooh, i got it right that time i was struggling i was like that's a whole mouthful small online business shipping essential essentials essentials oh my god like get it together jeez my dog's barking is distracting me but yeah that's what today's video is gonna be i've been meaning to film this video for a minute but we're here now so these things you guys may or may not know already but if you guys are brand new to starting a business or if you're getting ready to start your small business grab a pen and paper just so you guys could take some notes just in case you guys don't know all of these items already there's so many videos out there that you guys probably already know a lot of the things that i'm going to mention in this video but i just decided to make my own specific video because i know there's still a lot of up and coming new business owners that are finding my channel so i wanted to make sure i put this video out there for you guys to help you out i don't know how many items i'm going to actually mention because i just grabbed most of the stuff that i could think of like the main like essential items that i could think of and i brought them into my beauty room but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get right into this video so the first First two things that I'm gonna mention is thank you cards and business cards. I think those two things are essential regardless of if you're selling online or in person when it comes to having a small business. It's just more professional. This is my business card here. And this business card, I made it on Canva, but I did see that you can make business cards on the Fonto app on your phone. I use that to make my thumbnails and sometimes some of my infographics or whatever you wanna call them that I post on Instagram. Sometimes I use Fonto for that, but I personally made mine on Canva. That's the front and back of it. And these ones I purchased from awesomemerch.com. Most of the things that I'm mentioning, I'll try to link them down below for you guys. But Awesome Merch, you can get 100 business cards, literally 100 for $8. And they do front and back printing. Like literally, I got 100 of these for $8. This was a new design. So anytime I'm kind of starting off with a new design, I like to order from Awesome Merch first. But you can also order from Vistaprint. And there's also another website called uh, Got Print that you can order from for business cards. And I ordered my thank you cards. These are my thank you cards. I ordered these from Got Print as well. And because Awesome Merch for the $8 ones, they only offer matte. I made sure to get the matte thank you cards as well. But I think next time around with this design, I want it to be glossy. And the colors are a little bit off too. But like I said, it was, you know, this was a new design and I ordered them from two different places. So usually when they're glossy, the color matches more. So next time I'm going to order glossy and I'll probably order my, my business cards from Vistaprint. But that is an option for you. If you're a brand new business owner and you're on a budget, like a really tight budget, order your business cards from um awesome merch i would recommend ordering it from awesome merch their processing time is about 10 business days which is a long time but if you're just getting started you're not in any specific rush to get your business cards unless you are in a rush then maybe order from vistaprint but vistaprint overall it does cost more because that eight dollars is including shipping and everything if i'm not mistaken that's a really good deal and i have a video that i'll link i think on this side um i'll link a video in the icards um of how i actually ordered my business card the video is pretty old and outdated they changed their website the name of their website but it's still the same company awesome merch i'll link it i designed my um thank you cards and business cards both on canva i don't know you might be able to order let me double check because i have my computer right here i think you can order um is my computer dead i was watching netflix while i was doing my makeup so maybe it died it did die hold on i'm watching the show imposters right now it's it's okay i'm not gonna say it's the best show but it, it kind of has me intrigued right now even though that's off topic i'm sorry you guys i get distracted easily <laughs> How do you run a business when you get distracted? Girl, I do not know. Don't ask me. I think you can order thank you cards from awesomemerch.com as well, but I'm just double checking for you guys. They have postcards, so technically you can order postcards as thank you cards, so they do have that option for you as well. But yeah, back to the video. So now that you have your thank you cards and your business cards, you're gonna need a shipping scale. Now, when I first got started with my business, I was using a kitchen scale as my shipping scale. This I got from Amazon. A lot of the items that I use for my business are from Amazon. This I got from Amazon, and I think it was $11 or $10, something like that. This is up to 11 pounds. So if you're not shipping heavy items, this is perfect for you. But I finally have a new shipping scale and it's so cute. Shout out to Munbin. They sent me this super cute pink, pink shipping scales. It's so cute. And uh, let me double check, is it? Oh yeah, see, wow. Yeah, it weighs up to 66 pounds, which is amazing. But I love this shipping scale, it's super cute. 
um i'll have the link for this down below for you guys and um if i'm not mistaken i have a discount code that's still active with them so i'll put the discount code down below for you as well but i love this shipping scale and what's cool about it is of course it uses batteries but you can also plug it in too so if you have somewhere that you have set up stationary i wish the lighting would focus let me see maybe that but um, yeah, you can plug it in as well. I just left all the plugs and everything in my office because there's no sense of taking it out of there. But yeah, I love this shipping scale, super cute. It's huge. Well, you guys may not think it's super big, but like compared to this one, it's a pretty big scale. I feel very official with my new scale, you guys. So shout out to Munbin for sending me this. But speaking of Munbin, the, another item that you're gonna need for your business is something to print out some form of shipping labels. So. When I first started my business, I was using um, just a regular printer, which I'll put insert a little clip so you guys can see my printer. This is the same ginormous printer that I had since I started my business, but I'm gonna say it again, you guys do not need this printer. This is like a commercial style printer, but you don't need this kind. As long as you have an inkjet, you'll be just fine to use the uh, label paper like this. But I do officially now have a shipping label printer. I'm gonna show you the, cause luckily I don't know why I still have them cause I don't use them anymore, but I still had literally one sheet or one and a half sheet of the shipping printer paper that I used to use. And I think if I'm not mistaken, it's the MF label brand or something like that. But I got these from Amazon and I'll have them linked down below for you guys as well. So if you already have your own printer, you don't have to invest in getting an actual a thermal label printer so you don't so you don't have to invest in getting one of those right away i'll link down below these papers um i think it was 13 dollars for 100 or 200 but i also seen cheap paper links for it for like 10 dollars for the same amount so it's sticky so that's the benefit of it because you don't have to worry about like the hassle of sticking it down with tape but you still have to cut them out yourself which if you're just getting started and you don't have a bunch of orders it's not an inconvenience but once your order starts to pick up which it will believe it manifest it it's probably better for you to have an actual label printer so the label printer that i have is this one it's from munbin as well they sent me this one as well which i'm super grateful for i'll have the link for this down below the direct link and the discount code i think my discount code gives you five or ten percent off it might be five percent off but regardless this is a lot more affordable than some of those other printers that they have out there from like the Dymo printer brand or um the Rolo brand this one's still more affordable i think it's 140 dollars plus the extra discount that you that you can use with my code that i'll have linked down below but i love this printer as you guys can see i like things pink pink is my favorite color but yeah this printer i love it you don't have to worry about buying any ink for it and you can't you can pick print your packing slips as well with this and also you can print thank you stickers with this too if you get the actual size paper because the way this printer is open whoa this can go smaller so if you get the they have a small paper like it comes in pink it comes in white it comes in a few other colors but you can make this a little bit smaller and put your stickers in here and make thank you stickers and other things with it too it's pretty cool i love this you don't have to worry about any ink because it's thermal printed and um all you have to do is worry about the papers which these are the um the shipping papers for it and i love this because now i don't have to worry about cutting out my labels but you guys if you're on a budget when you start start your business don't don't go broke trying to start your business if that makes sense so once you make more money with your business then you invest to get the nicer things that you would like for your business but when you first get started like everybody has to start somewhere and that's how i was like you guys i literally started my business with a hundred dollars probably a little bit more over a hundred dollars but work with what you got don't go broke trying to start your business i guess while we're on labels let's talk about more labels you can get some i haven't actually used my printer to make thank you stickers yet because i still have some of these um these are thank you thank you for supporting my small business stickers you can put these on the packaging you can put these inside the packaging these are nice i run my business by myself so i don't actually always remember to put these stickers on the packaging but still like it's a nice little touch to add on to your orders and then if you sell anything that's fragile like for me since i sell lip gloss base and things like that um they're fragile so i always like to put a fragile sticker on those labels let's finish up with labels so i'll link the fragile stickers and the thank you down below for you guys as well i got those from amazon so if you are starting a small business and you don't already have prime i think you should get it it's worth the investment it's 12 dollars a month but it will save you so much money in shipping costs whenever you're ordering supplies for your business because amazon literally has just about every single thing you can need for your business just about i'm not saying everything but it has a lot of it um these are some labels these are logo label stickers that i use 
for actually putting on some of my products like my starter kits sometimes i put them on the packaging like i said if i remember don't be judging me if i don't remember because it's a lot running a small business by yourself but um these are logo label stickers i got these from um avery.com and the design literally get canva you guys the regular standard canva is free and then the premium canva i believe it's 12 dollars a month or 12.99 a month either way the the canva pro like a lot of the options on canva if you guys have the free version you'll see that um a lot of the things says get canva pro get canva pro like a lot of the designs you get more designs and options and um background photos and different like you can get the transparent background so it's easy for you to make a logo on there my new logo this logo i actually made on canva as well you have a lot more options that's what i can say you have a lot more options if you get canva pro so to me it's worth it but it is a, another thing that you have to invest in so if you got the free option that means you're gonna not have as many options so yeah that's all i'm gonna say on that but these are from um avery.com this size is the one one inch and three fourths of an inch so almost two inches but this is the size i have for my logo stickers works for me this is the same size sticker i use for my lip gloss jars as well and then these are my other transparent logo stickers the main thing i actually use these on right now is my lip gloss pigments if i happen to run out of these in between like when I have orders and when inventory is coming in, if I run out of sticker labels, I will use my Dymo label printer. You guys are probably gonna be like, this girl is all over the place in this video, but I'm not perfect. I'm just here to help, okay? Hope this is helpful. <laughs> if it is, make sure you give me a thumbs up. But yeah, this is my Dymo um, Letcher Tag label printer. I use this sometimes to label my lip gloss pigments if for some reason I run out, but I don't really prefer to use this. The main thing I use this for now is whenever I'm put printing out the quantity of lip gloss tubes that go inside of my starter kits but that's about it I don't use it as much as I used to when I first started my business but I still thought that I would mention it and I think I got this for um 17 or 18 dollars on Amazon and I always get the transparent clear stickers it literally just wants to focus on my face <laughs> But that's okay you guys get the point i'll link it down below for you guys so hopefully that helps i think we're done talking about labels and stickers and things of that sort so now packaging so depending on what you sell you may need organza bag these are what organza bags are um this one is a five by seven inch and this one is i think a three by four but i got both of these from amazon i'll link these down below for you guys as well just in case your theme is pink as well right now the main thing i sell is uh, wholesale products but i am slowly going to be releasing lip glosses right now i only have one lip gloss available on my website as far as individual glosses but i will be releasing more soon i'm just waiting for inventory to come in patiently waiting for inventory to come in i'm very i'm getting to the point where i'm kind of feeling a little bit impatient but i'm still very much waiting patiently because <laughs> patience is a virtue and everything happens at perfect timing so i'm waiting <laughs> and yeah so organza bags depending on what you sell you might need some of these they come in a tons of colors light pink blue purple yellow white black whatever color you need they probably have it there's even like a mesh style version of these too so it just depends on what you're going for for your brand the main thing i package in these are samples lip gloss samples uh pigments and i think that's it that's the only thing i use these for now but when i first started my business i would get my lip glosses and pop them in there just like this these are my old lip glosses i still have a bunch of them because i'm like it's my business of course i should have a collection of them even though i don't sell them no more new tubes coming soon logo will be printed on them the one that i currently have on my website it still has a sticker logo but that's okay work with what you have you guys once you have the money flip and invest if you're able to get out a business loan and you feel comfortable enough to get a business loan do it i personally have yet to get out any form of business loan since i started my business i don't really like loans i don't like being in debt so that's why but you can definitely get some sort of business loan if you're comfortable with that maybe eventually like whenever i'm ready to scale scale all the way up there then i'll do something like that but currently right now i still haven't done anything like that like i said it all depends on what you sell what type of packaging you're gonna need i have bubble mailers boxes poly mailers these are my the two main size bubble mailers that i use this one is the 10 by 6 bubble mailer amazon this one's a 4 by 6 bubble mailer amazon um the shipping boxes that i have amazon this most of them some of them i have from U usps which i'll show you the ones that i get from usps but this one is um a 4 by 4 by 4 literally it's super small but these are the perfect size box to fit my um lip gloss jars if somebody only orders literally one lip gloss jar the eight ounces i put it in here this size right here is um usually they're on the boxes but this new link that i purchased from it didn't have the sizes on them oh this one is eight by four by four and this one i use if i have two jars or if somebody orders two lip gloss bases or 
whatever fits in here. Like I just found that these are the, the sizes that work for me. So I have that size as well. Like I said, I'll link all of this stuff down below for you guys because I want you guys to be able to easily find this stuff because when I first started, literally I was searching for everything by myself. Okay, by myself. Nowadays, there's so much information out there that it's easy for you to find what you need. Like literally Google and YouTube search because whenever I first started making business videos, so many people were asking me questions and I'm like, y'all, I'm busy trying to build and take care of this business. It's a brand new baby. It's still a baby. Like now I got a two year old toddler, okay? I'm still very busy. I'm still running it by myself. I've not gotten to the point where I can expand and afford to pay people yet. I ain't there yet and that's okay. But um, Google is your best friend. So many people are like, I don't know if they don't trust Google or like you want to ask somebody directly because you're like, okay, this person did it or this person's in business, whatever the question or whatever the thought process is behind why those people out there who ask questions and wait for a response instead of just going to the Google machine <laughs> and Googling it, maybe it's because of the, the fear, right? Whenever you are fearful, of course, you're going to want somebody else's response. But if you go on on faith, you have to trust that those answers are out there for you and you can find those answers yourself. I literally started everything by myself, not knowing anything. Like, of course I found information out there, but I was never really one to like reach out to anybody whose videos I watched to ask questions. I just tried it. Like, I just tried. Like, I'm like, all right, they made this content for a reason. You know, <laughs> they wanna help, but they're probably busy as well because running a business takes a lot. So I just started searching myself. Same thing with Alibaba, finding vendors and things like that like I just I just took a risk and I found vendors but yes yeah, so this is a poly mailer for those of you guys who don't know now you know <laughs> this poly mailer the main thing I use this for I'm gonna tell y'all why I use these poly mailers I'm gonna tell you so this size right here specifically is let me double can't I got a big bag of these from Amazon I think for seven it was a hundred of these for seventeen dollars or eighteen or 16, I don't know, I'm gonna link it down below. 14 and a half by 19. There is a lot of other places you guys can buy this stuff from. A lot of people like to use, I believe the website is called Paper Mart. Some people use Paper Mart. Um, I know a lot of people order sticker logos from like sticker app. I used to use them, not anymore. Um, I use Avery instead. Sticker Mule, a lot of people like to use Sticker Mule to get the logo tape to go on your packaging. Until you get that, get you some packing tape, okay? Amazon. Amazon, Amazon, best friend, okay? Once you have a business, you and Amazon are gonna become best friends. So get your Prime. Prime gives you other benefits as well. You get Prime TV, so you get all them shows, but it's for your business, okay? Get Amazon Prime, you need it. But yeah, back to these poly mailers. Why I have these is so, I'm gonna give y'all a tip to save y'all some money now. Is this against the law? I ain't going to jail, but I'm gonna tell y'all because I, I, I gotta tell y'all. So every so often whenever I'm using USPS packaging and I'm on my Shopify account because for those of you guys who don't know, I use Shopify for my website, for shipping, for all of that good stuff. I do it all through Shopify because it's easy and I like easy because you don't want to work harder, you want to work smarter. So, and I could probably be saving more money when it comes to the shipping side of that because people keep telling me, but like, you ain't here doing it for me. And I haven't took the time to do the research yet. So that's that, that's my business. Literally, that's my business. You got your business, mind your business. But I'm gonna tell you guys how to save some money, at least in this specific area. So sometimes when I type in my information, um, like the, or I say my information, but the information of the package, and it happens to just so fit in one of these size boxes. Oh, that's, I'm like, this is so bad. PKB Trading does it too, because a lot of times they'll ship me stuff from FedEx, but inside the packaging, it'll have USPS priority shipping stuff inside of it. So I don't see why you can't do it as a small business. But this is a flat rate box, and usually I think, right Right now the, the rate for these are going $13.75 to ship these but um you have this and then I put this over it and put it in as a custom box I use the same size because the sizing like all of these priority boxes will always tell you what size it is once you guys start to get used to shipping your own orders you'll see there's an option for you to type in what size you're packaging and you can do a preset which I have all of mine preset it tells you what size the box is right here so this one it says it is 11 by 8.5 by 5.5 that's the size of this box so this it's an exact exact snuggle fit whenever you um close the box up it's an exact snuggle fit but it works this is the medium size priority box i use this size box a lot i use this to ship my starter kits but in my last shipping video that i was filming i might have deleted the clip 
but I had said, cause I was on the phone with my friend, I was like, girl, they were trying to charge $50 to ship this box. I put this over it and it was only $22. And the reason why it cost that much is because I was shipping it internationally to Canada. I currently only ship to US and Canada, but the further you ship out, the more it costs. So I was shipping to Canada and my customer had only paid pretty much $22 or $23 for shipping. And I was gonna get charged $50? I don't think so. So I put this little <laughs> poly mailer over it and that's that. So that would save you money in certain situations. Um, I don't know if that's against the law, but I'm gonna assume it's not because other businesses are doing it. Like <clears throat> TKB trading their bigger business. So I'm gonna mind my business and do what I gotta do for my business. And these boxes you literally get for free. You order them on the USPS website. They don't take too long to come to you. You don't have to pay for the shipping or anything like that. You just order these boxes and they come in for free. So I think that that makes a lot of sense to get all of these boxes for free and then order hundred of these for $17. To me, that makes sense when it comes to saving money. But this other size box that I use often is seven by seven by six. This is one of the other most popular size boxes. And I think that's it as far as shipping goes. That's all that I wanted to mention for today, you guys. I'm sorry that I was all over the place. I thought I was gonna be a little bit more organized, but there's that. I made a little list to help me be a little bit more organized and I still was like this, <laughs> but that's okay. I really do hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If I was all over the place and you like, what was this girl talking? talking about go to the links down below and that'll help you out at least in that way because everything that i mentioned the links will be linked down below in the description box if i could find the links still they will be there um discount for the two munbin products the shipping scale and the label printer there will be discount codes and direct links for those down below in the description box as well i really do hope that this video was helpful for you if it was don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are new and you have not subscribed and this video helped you or you just like my personality don't forget to subscribe to my channel channel turn your post notifications on so you guys can be notified every time i upload a new video and yeah thank you so much for watching i appreciate all of you guys i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye you guys bye.